you know, I'm really drawn to buildings that have a lot of character to them. You have to put a lot of thought into it, a lot of care into it, and a lot of reverence to its past, and kind of let the bones of the building speak to you, and kind of tells you what that building wants to be. The building and where you are in that community, you want to be part of that community. I just happen to find beauty in old things. I don't care if it's an old tool and die shop, an old meat packing plant, an old barn. I may be a little odd that way, but the bigger disaster it is, the more, the more it interests me. If the building has great brick, I'm not gonna cover that up. We're gonna use barnwood accent. It all depends on what the building is right now. So I'm not gonna force barnwood into anything that, that doesn't want it. If it feels like it needs it, boom, it goes. In Brooklyn, we ended up using the wood from the Coney Island boardwalk that unfortunately got blown off during Hurricane Sandy, but there was a bunch of it. We bought it up. So it has a great sense of place to Brooklyn. Barbecue is like old buildings. You know, it's uh, uh, the parallel of a rough, tough brisket and an old building. They both need time. They both need care. They both need patience. If you bring that patience, that time, that caring to that meat or to that building, something great's gonna come out of it. It may take a little bit longer, it may cost a little bit more, but I think the end result is always worth it.